Welcome, I'm Sam Robson, editor here at The Motley Fool, and today we're going to be speaking about becoming a more foolish investor. Now, first things first, it's important to remember that when you're buying a share, you're buying into a living, breathing company. It's not just a ticker on the stock market. So when you're at home, look around you, look at the strong brands and those are in your cupboards that you, that you use in day-to-day -day life. For instance, I drink about five cups of tea a day, and they are PG tips, as shown by my little friend here. And behind PG Tips is that's owned by Unilever, and that's a good example for a strong brand that behind which is a public, publicly listed company. Uh, that's the first point you want to be looking out for for these companies. The second one is if they have a good history of innovation. Take Apple for example. They've gone from the iPod to the iPhone and to the iPad. So they're constantly evolving. Thirdly, you want to look for a strong, reliable cash flow. And that's quite obvious, but it's really important to do your research. Go online and look up these companies. When you're there, you might have a look at the management. And it's an important thing to look at because you want to, ideally, you want them to have a seasoned team with plenty of experience behind them. Also, you want them to have a history of doing right by the shareholders, i.e. paying out dividends if possible. Thirdly, it always helps if they own a chunk of the stock themselves because it shows that they believe in the company and are taking it in the right direction. Okay then, well, just to recap, we've been looking at the long-term performance of companies and if you follow these steps, then you should become a more foolish investor. And you can find all this at www.fool.co.uk. Fool on.